Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another vlog video for you. Thank you everybody for coming back, stopping by, and if this is the first time at the channel, welcome. So let's get on the road, gotta stop and get gas first. A couple of drinks, I have everything I need I think in the truck today I am seeing if this camera battery charger works I don't think it does so hopefully I am not screwed on that front as far as battery juice and this thing goes so as I sit at the gas pump watching my life savings go down the drain uh, 360 a gallon I think right now 347 a gallon right now all right, guys, we are here. And here is here. Now, you guys have probably seen this place before. Uh, this is an old abandoned ranch. We're going to go through and talk about some of these buildings here today. But uh, you've seen me make videos here before. You've seen specifically on this porch. You've seen me make a couple videos, I know, and uh, in a couple of these rooms. And most of the time when you see me doing any room clearing, this is probably where it's been at because I use this old abandoned ranch house to teach one of the places that I use to teach CQB room clearing room entry things like that uh, it's nice because I mean I just walked in here and I bet you it's it's 15 degrees cooler in here but uh, yeah use this doorway quite often for room clearing practice and teaching because it's got a nice wall here it's got a nice area here nice big area i can't touch the sides nice big area here um, to bring people in so they can watch from this direction right for entering the room and then it's a center fed room with a closet sometimes you know pretend the closet is or isn't there but center fed room so it's got a corner here and the corner here it's not too deep it's got a window and it's got another doorway so we can enter this from either direction this doorway makes it a corner fed room this doorway is a center fed room and then work hallways here we never do anything with this room because it is just full of trash and crap but there is a open spot here and turns this into a center fed room here which you go right left and left goes into the great room of the fireplace that is the that's the entrance into that small room we were just in an old kitchen and another hallway with a, another trashed bathroom right there and a bedroom in the end we can come outside onto the porch we can actually go into that bedroom on the end which is another good size room where you can bring a guy here right at the doorway to come in and this window here makes for a good viewing area to see what the person is doing when they get into the room so it makes for a good teaching spot 
because there's plenty of visibility there's plenty of difference corner fed and center fed rooms and with all of these windows that you see busted out here with all of these windows it makes for good viewing area too instead of just having people bunched up behind a doorway to see what a person is doing when they enter the room uh, and things like that so that's what i use this building for and also this is in the it was in the middle of a high drug trafficking and illegal traffic area but we spend so much my my militia group spends has spent so much time out here that we've basically put a stop to it uh cleaned up a lot of stuff and uh um you just we just don't see the traffic anymore like we used to one of the things we do use this place for is to store uh, when we're out in the desert and we pick up and find trash and findings and new findings from uh, illegals and from drug smugglers, we'll put it in a truck and bring it back here, stow it here, and if it's all new enough, we let Border Patrol know what we've done and uh, tell them that, you know, the stuff's out here and where we found it at, right? So like carpet shoes, this is a carpet shoe. This is what they'll wear over their shoes and the carpet, it's, it's matted down now, but the carpet helps to disguise their footprints. It helps to uh, cover their tracks so that it's not as obvious that they walk through an area. So carpet shoes all over the place, bottles, and they use this material to wear it like a satchel, you know, to wear it over themselves. Bottles, clothes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is getting worn out. This is pretty old now, but this is the camo that they were wearing. This is what all their clothes are made of, this camo pattern, and uh, backpacks each. When we found, I, re I distinctly remember this backpack. This backpack was full color when we found it. Um, there's nothing left in it. But uh, you can kind of see here, even though it's getting red from getting uh, sun bleached, you can kind of see here what the camo pattern was. So that's all that stuff. And like I said, we kind of store stuff here as we find it to uh, keep track of you know, how much crap we found. So we're on the front porch. This is the front porch that I'm on where I just showed you that stuff. There's a fireplace there. This was probably actually a really nice place when it was in its prime. So what happened is during uh, the Clinton administration, all of this area became BLM land, uh, government land or public land, which isn't really public because there's restrictions on it. But, um, you know, this has this whole wall built around the whole house. It's a really nice place, or it was a really nice place. And uh, had a generator, had a diesel generator, things like that. A well, we're gonna go over there in a minute. But uh, yeah, it. Uh, this is probably a pretty nice place. And I don't know if it was abandoned when this guy, when, the, when BLM uh, took it took this land over. I don't know if it was abandoned then or if the uh, Owners had abandoned it through whatever means before that and Through the act with the BLM acquisition if if uh, You know this was just part of it now we built this Right that ladder wasn't there that ladder was actually part of the fuel oil tank or whatever the tank is this tank right behind me let's see if i can get it where's that there it is that tank that ladder 
was actually on that tank at one point in time somebody did that we were bringing the ladder with us so that nobody would just get up there and hurt themselves but uh, that's in some of my old social media there was actually pictures of me up there uh, with a good set of binos or scope you can see out in the desert for a long way and uh, we were able to see if there was any buddy out there picking up illegals or if any of them had a flashlight on them or anything like that so we were able to see for a good long distance out in that area there's that tank and then coming up here I don't know what these houses were I don't know enough about ranching to to say one way or the other but here's a building here all messed up some of the ranch or some of the um, corral there this here this was the generator house This building here had the generator in it, and then up that pole was where the wire came out and went over to the big house. Some more old corral and feeding troughs. This is where the generator was. You see the power of the breaker, the box there, and all that. Somewhere over here, somewhere over here was the well. And I actually think it was under this. I think the well pipe is, in, is under there. I don't know, I don't know what this tank was. We've rolled it up, we've rolled it all over this property to get out of our way and the wind just takes it. The wind takes it wherever the wind wants to take it. But I don't know what was in this. Here's another house, another building. There's nothing in there. It's just concrete floor. And more corral area all out here. And then that used to hold water. And then there's actually a abandoned trailer on the property right back there. We're not gonna go all the way over there. It's just full of crap. But uh, yeah, interesting place. Veckel Ranch, V-E-K-O-L. It's uh, anybody around here it's not like I keep this place a secret, you know? I mean, anybody around here knows what this place is. Uh, this used to be a big time for drug smuggling and human smuggling, and just through the efforts of people like my group, and I'm sure Border Patrol to a point as well, but through our efforts, we uh, put a stop to it. And way out here, you can see it right there, yeah. Somebody, this is a, I don't know if that was a, um, or like where a, 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 an in-law house or what it was, but somebody obviously had some sort of a party or rave or something out here and they painted polka dots all over it. And it's kind of, kind of pisses you off because it's just, I don't know, it just, 
seems really disrespectful. Even though we haven't seen anything out here in some time, that's why we continue to come out. It's still considered to be a dangerous area as far as we're concerned. At night, when we come out here and we go and patrol out in the desert at night, we still wear body armor um, because it is still considered to be a dangerous area. All right, so heading out of here, going to another spot. Alright, so this, I've kind of talked about this before in other videos. This is Veckel Wash. This is a big, when it rains hard, this is where water flows. Alright, just came from that direction. But straight up here, a couple miles, is Interstate 8, and that's a direct line to California. Um, and this way, we're now facing south, is the Indian Reservation. And the Indians get paid quite handsomely to help drugs into this country and help smuggle people and things like that. This is a direct line right to there. All the north and south roads, like paths and stuff like that, in this area go directly to the res and uh, the Tohono Odom, whatever, T.O. res is what we call it. Um, they, uh, you know, one of the reasons that they don't want a border on their, or a fence on their border, because it borders the, the southern border, their reservation borders the southern border. Uh, one of the reasons they don't want it there is because of how well they get paid to uh, help bring drugs and illegals into this country. So I just wanted to stop and kind of show you this major area right here. in case I gotta take any pictures. This is a spot that you've actually been to before with me. <sighs> this spot hasn't turned up much in the last few years. Last couple years at least. It doesn't look like, so this was a, a spot that was a common layup spot where they would dump their stuff, you know, they're, they're, I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that? I'm quarter mile away from the interstate. Um, this is a spot where they would dump their stuff because they knew they were home, home free at this point. And yeah, it's just all old stuff here. All old stuff at this particular spot. Old bags, old carpet shoes, blankets, blanket, old camo, old camo.
old camo. See this right here? Old camo, old camo. There's some bottles. Probably old bottles. Yeah, old bottles. So, yeah. Not much. So the subject of the title of my vlog videos is something that is brought up every now and again because I used to call them range days and still kind of do. I used to call them range days because that's what I was doing. I was, I was going out to the range and bringing you guys with me and kind of behind the scenes stuff and whatnot. And then I started doing like camping trips and stuff like that on video and I wanted and I changed it to a name called Adventure Landing which was kind of like a overlanding range day um, oh, there it is an overlanding like range day um, you know kind of adventuring like this things things that not everybody gets to see and I just kind of, I ran out of the ability, the time ability, to do a lot of the camping aspect on video at least. And uh, so I sort of dropped the name. I like the name Adventure Landing. I think it's a little corny, but I think I like the name. So I don't know if I want to continue calling it that. I want some. I want a name that will that will stick out instead of just Range Day or Vlog. Um, something that people can remember and like, you know, really sticks out in their mind. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about that. Let me, I, I know I've asked before, but let me know what you think about that title, Adventure Landing. So here's another spot. I'm not even going to shut the truck off for this one. So... There's the interstate. We are right there. I'm not sure where that came from or even what it is. old layup spot see some old camo there an old plastic bag things like that and so I'll come to one of these common areas like this switch hands here come to one of these common areas like this and just sort of take a quick walk around because See if maybe they use something a little bit east or west of it. So where we came from was about two miles that way, is where that ranch is. Now what, what's the purpose? What's the purpose behind this? Um, so if I'm out here right now and I find a whole bunch of new stuff, right? So I know that they've been using the area quite a, bit, quite a lot again if there's a lot of new stuff. That means that as a group, we concentrate our efforts in this area, which means, which means we'll come out here for two, three days at a time. Um, and not only on truck, but on foot, patrol this entire area, see for any more new stuff and uh, make our presence known. Hopefully we can stop people. If we can at least stop people, um, we can direct them east or west of here into maybe an area that Border Patrol is in instead of us. And so that is the purpose in doing this. 
All right, so here we are on Interstate 8, and what they tend to do is use road signs as landmarks and pickup spots, whether it's uh, big street signs or mile marker signs or whatever. Oh, it's gotten busy. So, I was down in this little part of the wash. All right, this is uh, basically a ditch or a wash right next to the road, and there was nothing here. There was nothing here a month ago. I gotta go get my tripod. All that stuff's a month old or less. So you can see, you see all of the traffic that's been through here. See how it's all disturbed? They've been walking up and down this wash and you can see it up through here. That people have been going in and out of this. Let me go grab my tripod and my pair of gloves. All right, climbing back down here. Time to break out the uh, one of my game cameras too. Once I'm done. All right, I'm gonna set you right here. I'm gonna set you right there. See how rich the color is? See how rich the color is in this stuff? Yeah, this is all brand new stuff. Newer. Some of this stuff's been trampled over. Clothes. Shoes. 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 This water bottle. I don't know how well you can hear me. Still extremely pliable. And a lot of rich blues left in this scarf. Bottle. Water. Still got water in it. Ow. A little bit of water. Empty. Still lots of color left in here. Bags. 
these uh, female products in there. I'm gonna cut the video because I, I only have so much battery. But a uh, bunch of stuff, more shoes, carpet shoes, clothing. This all came out of that one last bag. This is all their clothing. More carpet shoes, brand new bag, lighter. Does it work? Cool. Lighter. stuff shoes so let's go through one of these bags real quick and I'm gonna cut the video let's go through this one right here okay I wear gloves for a reason um, not just critters but possible shit in here that might hurt me Nothing, nothing. Tore up carpet shoe, carpet shoe, actual shoe, hat, hat. So they took all their shit off and stuff it in here before they got their ride. Clothing. Shoe. I mean, what is that? That's gotta be 15, 18 sets of carpet shoes. Nine to 10 people, something like that. See if I find any weapons. It's not uncommon to find knives and other weapons in, in these bags. Some sort of a neck gaiter, shoes, carpet shoes, more carpet shoes, uh, Under Armour shoes, carpet shoes, carpet shoes, clothes, hats. I mean, this is the most stuff we've found out here in probably two years. Oh, there's another water bottle up there in the uh, standing upright in the weeds. Yep, time to put up a game camera. All right, so what does this mean? What is, now that, the, now that I've found this stuff, what does that mean? So I'm not gonna pick it up today. Uh, we'll do that next weekend. I'm not going to pick it up today. Uh, I'm going home. I don't want to stuff my truck full of this stuff right now. I'll bring drum liners and we'll pick it all up next weekend. Uh, no problem. For anybody out there to be like, you should pick that crap up and it's litter. Yes, it's litter, I know. But when you come out here and do this, you get to judge me how I do it. Um, but I will, we'll come out next weekend, pick up all that stuff and uh, hit some of the other popular areas around here. That's what that means. All right, so I'm on the road again. It's been a minute since we talked, uh, even though it's only been a couple seconds for you guys, but Finding that stuff has uh, kicked off a number of phone calls to different people 
and uh, to organize something for next weekend, campsites, home base, things like that, uh, who's going to be there, who's not going to be there type phone calls, calling some people that are friends of the group to see if they want to come out as well because that was enough stuff for me to uh, organize something for a larger a, a larger group of people to search the area to see what we come up with especially at night so yeah heading home and got a couple things to do once I get home and then we'll end this right, guys so I'm home and one of the things I want to do before next weekend is I want to run a little bit uh, more minimalist carrier next weekend. I want to change my AR500 setup a little bit, so uh, we're going to do that. And I want to put this, which is starting to get bleached out, it's been in my truck, but I want to put this placard on it. Um, on the front and get rid of these that stick out. And uh, that's because next weekend night, the nights are getting chillier, I might have a jacket on. So I wanna put a jacket on over it. Uh, so we are going to change this thing up. All right, so let's start with getting rid of this. That's one of the reasons I like rubber bands for putting a tourniquet on is you can just rip it right off. This is um, this is Recon Medical, I think. I believe this is a Recon Medical tourniquet. Uh, Recon Medical makes some good stuff. Let's get rid of that. Let's take these guys off. I like fast mags. Fast mags work really well. Um, I do like these but they do stick off quite a ways. So that's it for that right now. So this is going to go here, all right? Oh, good, that will work. Put these guys on. Come on. Use that. Might have to take the plate out because this is not cooperating the greatest with me. Ouch. Yeah, I might have to take the plate out in order to get this to fold up enough. In order to get that to fold up enough. I'll take that off for now. I have the LA police gear um, level fours in here right now, ceramic level fours. There we go. Whew. That was not fun.
There we go. Let's pop this sucker back in. This carrier, this Veritas carrier, is just barely big enough for these thick ceramic plates. Yeah. Cool. That's gonna work. down just a little bit lower. be able to put these up on this one. Is that going to be enough? Yeah. Let's do that. Alright, you guys didn't need to go through the process of seeing me redo those buckles. So There we go. There we go. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's get some mags in it. All right, so these are just empty mags for now. Mags. So the radio, my radio will probably go here. Is that in camera? Kinda, sorta. Yeah, my radio will probably go there. What about? So my screen doesn't light up, so that's fine. All right, let's see how that goes on. Not bad. Not bad. And then I'll run a push to talk. Uh, from here, I'll just run a push to talk wire up somewhere and probably hang push to talk here on that. Yeah, but that's that's okay. That kind of gets me in the neck, but it's a lot better than that because that is an eye poker right there. But that'll be okay. That'll be okay. I can control my volume and everything from there. I can run tourniquet here and on the side right here under my arm. I can run tourniquets, pistols or pistol mags are on my belt or if I wanted to Or a tourniquet there, or pistol mag, whatever. All right. Yeah, that's okay. And then I can still run. Let's see here. Yeah. 
not bad. Then I can still run uh, a jacket over top if I want. And even if I just wanted to run my rifle and a single spare mag, I could run it in the side here and have this flat, have that flat. So that's about an inch low. That's not bad. That's not bad. I've lost a little weight, and so this isn't fitting quite the same, but that's, I bought this elastic cummerbund, cummerbund, and uh, it's pretty comfortable. It lets it breathe, but it still keeps it in place, so that's not bad. Reach the mag's fine. Of course, you can't really re-index with this style of a placard or mag pouches. And you can't re-index easily, but you can load up easily, and it's nice and flat. You know, it's not not a whole lot of stuff sticking off of it. Whereas fast mags, where as much as I do like these, I mean they work very well, and uh, they're easy to re-index. They stick off the body quite a ways and don't collapse down. So if I wanted to run just armor you know this basically collapses, collapses down as, as far as the armor does and like I said run a run a magazine over here if I wanted to if I needed a spare mag so that's okay yep that's okay and I still have access to my to my medical pouch here with all my other stuff in it Bunch of chest seals and bunch of chest seals and uh, uh, gauze, a couple of thermal blankets, uh, Israeli bandage, and some bleed stop or some uh, combat gauze. Uh, quick clot. Quick clot. Cool. All right. That's done. All right, guys. So I, that's going to have to be it. Um, I remember earlier I said something about my battery charger. It didn't charge this, so I have to actually go plug the camera in uh, because I'm out of batteries. So I got to end this. Thank you, everybody, for staying with me today. Um, next weekend will be an interesting weekend. Uh, going out and looking for more of that stuff. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope maybe you learned something about maybe some of the immigration, illegal immigration issues we we're having uh, and going on this journey with me. Again, let me know down below about the like vlog versus range day versus adventure landing type title. Like I said, I want something that's going to people remember, you know, so leave that down below. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want more videos from me. And I guess that's about it. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome. I really couldn't do this, all of this without you guys. And, uh, uh, you know, of course, my, 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 my regular viewers, you guys are awesome as well. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.